What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are excited. We have a crazy story today about the lady that broke into the hype house. We're gonna go into that a little bit, but first, we want you to know, we have the merch. You guys know what's going on with that merch. Woo! You know what we'd be dripping on. <laughs> you know what we'd be dripping on. <laughs> guys, let's get into it. All of our merch is linked down below, so is the social media. Let's do it. Trailer game, baby. Trailer game. The mom that broke into the hype house is back, bro. She's attacking all the hype house members for supposedly cyberbullying her. Oh Whoa. my god. You broke into their house. Leave them alone. Yeah, you're the one that's physically abusing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're abusing all their fucking property but not flushing the toilet. If someone was to let you into their house, you think it'd be a good idea while they're not home to a take a shit in their toilet and not flush it <laughs> Not no. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird that she's going after people for cyberbullying when she's a fucking thief. Right? Yeah. yeah. This woman's obviously insane and she needs an asylum. Yeah, and she like shits in people's toilets and just leaves it. Yeah, exactly. Festering. Like a raisin in the sun. <laughs> We're like a raisin in the sun. You know what I think? I think everybody's fucking bored. So she's mad because she posted this video about breaking to the hype house and then Rylan Storm and Alex Warren responded under that. Rylan Storm said, yo, she got that fresh ass little huddy haircut. <laughs> and Alex Warren says, what's the address? I wonder if they have caretakers. <laughs> Can I have to be honest with you? This Subway sandwich is about to come out of my ass in like a minute and a half. Chris, why every time we film we have to shit? I don't know, but like it's like I'm sitting and my, my stomach is like festering. Do you want to shit real quick? Yeah, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, leave this all in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if she was wearing Little Huddy's jacket, she would be Little Huddy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. She stole Little Huddy's jacket. Yeah. yeah. She then goes on and posts this TikTok. House? Hey, I'll give you my address. You can come to my house. Pull up. Let's talk. Let's talk about... Don't pull up. Don't pull up. Because <laughs> as soon as you pull up, Who she's locking the pull? door and you're stuck in there forever. Who would ever pull up? It's like the get out. You're going to her house is just like get out. You're, you're not safe. safe. You're not safe at all in a robber's house. And all her children are the kids with the little teacups. <laughs> yeah. You have a platform with over 10 million, I think 10 million followers. And you sit there and promote bullying. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, you promote fucking theft. You promote breaking in and stealing like teenagers' clothes. And then yeah. making a TikTok in the house. <laughs> yeah. You are literally the epitome of a horrible PTA mom. Yeah. Why are we giving this bitch attention? <laughs> Nuts. What kind of an influencer are you? In my opinion, you shouldn't be an influencer. No, I think we just found Kanye's new wife. <laughs> she's like a microwave Miranda Sings with that <laughs> boof-ass makeup on. <laughs> she's a boof-ass poor Miranda Sings that has to break in and get her shit. Yeah. Yeah. You guys send messages like, look at her haircut. She's got a haircut like Little Huddy. <laughs> you want that. You want to be compared like Little Huddy. Yeah. You want that attention. Don't lie. Yeah, why are you acting like, oh, we, 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 That's supposed to be a, a joke? That's bullying. Get the fuck out of here, man. It's a haircut. You stole all their shit. That was worth thousands of dollars. Okay, I say after this video, we don't talk about this girl ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, I'm down. Thank God. <laughs> this is like being locked away from murder, and then you're mad because people make fun of the way you look in your mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> Other messages like, oh, she shit in my bathroom. Hey! Because you did. You shit and you let it fester and fucking they had to smell it and clean it up and shit. Yeah. They were looking for their fucking clothes and it wasn't there. And their <laughs> tattoo gun wasn't there. Thank God she got a new fucking tattoo gun. Bro, she got that tea from the Alex Warren podcast. Let's go! It was on our podcast that Alex Warren dropped that. Dude, we are breaking news for this crazy ass woman. Yeah. That's her audience, bro. That's her audience. We just incriminated her. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was on our podcast and we incriminated her dirty ass. Yeah, exactly. It's because of us people know she leaves shits in toilets. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she killed my fish. Where's the proof, Alex? You got video of me killing your fish? Do you have video of me shitting in your toilet? She definitely watched our podcast. Dude, this is a big deal for us. Dude. This is nutty. This is our audience. We're CNN for her. <laughs> yeah. We're the ones that break the news. But it's not fake news. So you actually do shit in people's toilets and <laughs> don't flush it. And then throw the fish in there with the shit. <laughs> yeah. So why say it? Why say those things if you know... Right, if you can come on our podcast and prove that you didn't shit in the toilet, you gotta come over as a guest. Hey, how old are their daughters? Chris, mother like daughter. Don't expect the daughter to be any different, okay? Dude, in fucking two months, her daughter's gonna leave a shit in Chris's toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> They're like 15. Oh, uh, yeah, we're not even in this place. <laughs> that people are going to come to my page and bully me. You are a promoter of cyberbullying. And I'm done. You're a promoter of fucking stealing. Theft. Hey guys, new rule. 
if somebody robs you, you can cyber bully them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's fair. I think that's a fair punishment, bro. If you're gonna break into the hype house, let them cyber bully you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with two comments. That's a fair punishment, right? Overall, like, would you want her on our podcast? Absolutely not, because we know she wouldn't flush the toilet. <laughs> Come on, our septic system isn't that great. You can't be shitting in our toilet and leaving it there. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna steal our equipment and start her own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> start her own podcast and be like, why is everyone saying we stole them? Like, because we don't have it and you're using our equipment now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now you're cyber bullying us. <laughs> That'll be the day. It's so crazy, man. That's such a weird chain reaction. Alex comes on our podcast, shares his story, and it's obvious that she got it from there. Somebody definitely tagged her in that bit. Yeah, that's a big win for us, bro. That's step one. We're not the ones in the drama. We're the ones delivering it, bro. We're like freaking TMZ plus drama alert on steroids. We're like Anderson Cooper of TikTok. Chris, isn't that crazy, man? We're breaking news, bro. We're like TMZ. We're like World Star. We're like the code name Kids Next Door version. <laughs> <No. laughs> we're like the shittier version of fucking World Star. No, World Star's gone to shit. No, dude, I don't know what they're doing. Once their fight videos are gone, like hop on the real train now, which is covering crazy ass moms like this. <laughs> TikTokers, Karens, and like racists. Those are the three big news stories now. I feel like she's the type of person that like folds their toilet paper when she shits. <laughs> what do you mean? Like in half? How do you fold your toilet paper in half? Well, people think this is weird, but I go through the front. So you go under. <laughs> what? What? You go through the front. You go under your ball sack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you just wipe this shit on your bottom of your ball no, sack? No, 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 no. It takes skill and practice. Why can't you just do it the easy way? No, it's not the easy way. You're actually getting more of the places where poop is left if you go from the front. It's called the under over. I'm in disbelief that I have a coworker that goes under his ball sack when he wipes his ass. And speaking of that, we have merch all available. Link down below. Um, <laughs> Leave a comment down below. How do you wipe your ass? Do you go from the bottom or from the front? Sounds crazy, but try it first and look at the research papers because it actually says it's healthier for you. It's like the poop scooper. 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 All of our merch is linked down below. Chris is wearing that hoodie right there. We also have some of the samples right behind, right there, the same hoodie with the insert thumbnail there. The original logo. Chris, what does it say on the back of your hoodie? Oh, uh, it says. It's <laughs> what? Does it what? Say, what does it Chris? say? Turn it around. It says Chris equals Sim. Woo! The iconic hoodie. Go ahead and cop it, guys. You know what we dripping on. You know what we dripping on. You know what we be dripping on. Guys, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Our podcast is linked down below. So is our social media, our Instagrams. We'll see you guys soon. Trailer game, baby. You know we what out. we be dripping on. Hi, right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys can check out more right here. These are great videos right here. As well as the fact that if you want merch, click the link right here. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Trailer game. Thank you.